Once on different paths, these two innovative and talent-flooded companies seem to be colliding, at least according to recent reports. Both have big visions for the future. I'm talking about the rivalry between Apple and Tesla. That seems to be increasing. So joining us now to talk about this dynamic is Dan Costa. He's editor-in-chief of PCMag.com. Dan, great to see you. Thanks for joining us today. Absolutely. Thanks for having me. So let's talk a little bit about this. What could Apple be developing right now that Tesla could want? So I think it's a tantalizing prospect to imagine Apple building an electronic car to go head to head with Tesla, but I don't think that's happening right now. There've been a few reports, there've been a few teases, but the bottom line is that Apple actually has a lot to learn from Tesla. Apple wants to create an innovative, complete in-car experience, and Tesla has already done that. Uh, Apple wants to do it, of course, in partnership with current vehicle manufacturers, but uh, I can bet they're looking at Tesla to find steel ideas for what the next generation car interface is going to look like. And, and going off of that, one of the things we've been hearing, we've heard several reports, including some from Business Insider, uh, that there's a lot of talent scrambling back and forth, these two companies looking to hire from each other. Let's dig into that dynamic a little bit. Yeah, I mean, this is the truth in, in Silicon Valley is that every company is competing with every other company, regardless of what business that they're in, uh, for talent, for engineers, for development. And, um, and Apple and Tesla are definitely going at each other. If you look at LinkedIn and do a little rough research, and it's not 100% accurate, of course, but you'll see about 50 people from Tesla are now working at Apple, and about 150 people from Apple are now working at Tesla. Uh, that's pretty extraordinary given how hard Apple works to retain its talent. And it just shows that the, the way to attract talent is to have a vision for the future. Both these companies have it, but they, they are warring for talent at this point. And when you look at Apple and its most recent earnings, I mean, it's sitting on a almost $180 billion cash pile, $179 billion to be exact. How far-fetched is it that these companies could actually merge one day? I can tell you, it's, a, it's an amazing concept. I love thinking about it. it kind of reminds me of Google buying Nest in order, and, and, and getting Tony Fidel's talent to head up their connected home and smart home division. Um, it, it'd be amazing to think about what these two companies could do together. At the same time, they have very different cultures. Uh, I think Tim Cook and Elon Musk have very different management styles and very different temperaments. I it find it hard to believe that that could actually work out. But uh, definitely in terms of cooperation, you could see that they're, uh, they're working in some of the same projects, but they've got their own areas of expertise. So I think the, they could probably do some exciting things. I'm sure they could. It'll be interesting to see how all of this shakes out over the coming months, coming years, I should say. Dan Costa, thanks for joining us. Thank you for watching. I'm Morgan Brennan. Have a great day. Hey, YouTube fans. I'm Landon Dowdy from CNBC. Thank you so much for checking out our channel. You can subscribe by clicking right here to check out the latest Mad Money CEO interviews, market news, financial advice, and product unboxing. Enjoy. Mm -hmm.